India will soon start work on an artificial intelligence driven unmanned Tejas fighter jet concept, so that technology can be developed for the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet. The unmanned autonomous fighter jet will be deployed alongside a manned aircraft, which will fulfill its role as a complementary asset for combat or reconnaissance missions, or as a decoy to protect the manned aircraft from enemy air defense systems. Officials have said, that if the program is approved by the Modi government, the program will be undertaken in two phases. Network-enabled unmanned aircraft will be developed in the first phase, that will operate with the inputs from ground controller and the pilots of the manned aircraft, while the second phase will be more artificial intelligence driven, where inputs from the human crew will be very minimal. India has decided to go ahead with the $2.3 billion deal to manufacture five fleet support vessels in collaboration with the Turkish shipyard. Turkish shipyards are a major supplier of ships to Pakistan, and the contract signing was put on hold in October 2019, Hindustan shipyard informed the ministry regarding the legal and financial implications of cancelling the bid of the Turkish shipyard, and it had written several letters to the defence ministry over the past few months, and after clearances were given by the Ministry of Defence, the 15,000 crore rupees contract have finally been signed by Hindustan shipyard. The Indian Air Force operates a fleet of six Russian origin IL-78 tankers, that has a serviceability of 49% and are affected by maintenance problems, and the Air Force urgently needs at least six more refuelers. Instead of a direct purchase from a foreign country, the Indian Air Force is planning to lease refueling tankers, and this comes against the backdrop of previous failed attempts to buy new tankers. It is to be noted, that the government has unveiled a draft policy last week, that will allow the armed forces to lease critical defense systems. Pakistan's efforts to build a 750 km range ground-launched cruise system have suffered a major setback, as the delivery platform crashed after two minutes, and covered only 14 km in flight. This was the second consecutive test failure of the subsonic cruise system, after the previous test failed in April 2018. A team of Pakistani scientists had visited China before this test, as Pakistan is trying to build the cruise system with the help of China, in order to match the 1,000 km range cruise system developed by India's DRDO, which had achieved full mission objectives in its last test. China has deployed a fleet of 12 underwater drones in the Indian Ocean in mid-December 2019 from a survey ship, and they were recovered in February 2019 after making more than 3,400 observations. These sea-wing gliders are a type of unmanned underwater vehicle, which can operate for several months. The Chinese gliders were gathering oceanographic data in the Indian Ocean, which is gathered for naval intelligence purposes. Thank <laughs> you.